from a female's perspective. I find it less now because there are many more females on the bench, but when I first began practicing, um, I, I would go into chambers with a judge and the judge would be holding the conversation with my male adversary. Mm -hmm. And after about 20 minutes, then we'd go back on the record or whatever. And it, it was so much more of an old boys club. Mm -hmm. uh, so for the female lawyer, but I, I find that less Today. happening yeah. now. Yeah. And I also think, at least in New Jersey, judges are more sensitized to how they um, treat male lawyers and female lawyers. We have continuing surveys about does this judge, you know, show any bias against race, against you being Public female? Public surveys? Um, or is it just well, kind the, of shared the, in the family no, law there, section? There, no, there are surveys which are uh, sent out by the administrative offices of the courts. Okay, where, so it keeps the umpires where, where, honest. Where lawyers will be ranking a judge, whether you were before him on a motion or a trial mm -hmm. or a settlement conference, about lack of bias, uh, lack of preference, knowledge of the law, ability to settle a case. So I think there's been a, a, a bigger push in our judiciary to, to get rid of some of the old boys network. But mm -hmm. I'm telling you, 20 years ago, it was definitely, you, you needed to know the judge. It because the those of us who weren't playing right. in that same mm -hmm. ball field were having, right. were in and a different place.